hello guys welcome to the another video so in, in this one we I'm going to show you how to restore your MacBook Pro and then you can you don't need any disk or anything you can you can just all you need is a, a charger for your MacBook MacBook itself and where you can get the internet connections so let's go ahead and start our video so first of all go get your um, charger if you don't have it with you right now once you get the charger plug it in since my charger is kind of like it's kind of not working well there you go it's charging but it's already green light but it's okay you do need to keep it into you do need to keep it plug in so keep your thumb and finger on command and uh, R as soon as you press that and the light comes up in the keyboard just hold it down until you see the logo and wait for it wait for it wait for it let go as soon as you see the logo apple logo then you can just let it go and then just wait for it to get load so i will fast forward fast forward for you guys because seems like it's gonna take a little bit while So since since like I already connected to my Wi-Fi, all you have to do first of all is back up your everything. Then you can do this procedure, and then all you have to do is go into the this utility, click continue, and then you will have to find your uh, hard drive itself and then the hard drive that you have given the name and then all you gotta do is click erase and it will erase everything from your uh, from your hard drive so if you have anything important be make sure to get the backup of it and so go we'll go ahead and erase that since i already have backed up my files once it's done all you gotta do is close it and reinstall just double click on it and it's gonna take a while so then click next or continue and then this will see if you're eligible to reinstall the software and so if you do then you will get a dis disagree or agree if you want to install this new software and then you gotta select your hard drive and click install and then it says your computer is not connected to a power source unless if yours is not my my it is but like since i have the problem with the power brick it just i have to um, press hard and it will just start charging i mean if you're full charge then it wouldn't be matter but it's always good to um it's always good to have your charger plugged in and click continue <clears throat> so you just have to wait for it and I'm going to uh, fast forward this for you guys 
and I'll come back once it's done. So I'll come back once the uh, installation is completed and uh, I will catch you guys later on. Whoo! So welcome back guys and uh, it's just just got it completed. It took about like uh, 10 to 15 minutes something around like that time. Since I do have solid state drive so it got done quickly then usually it takes more than like 30 minutes so now once we done all those steps now we going to just set up like as we buy a new macbook or any product that we have to register and uh, set it up again and so let's go ahead and do it since I'm in United States I'm going to select that and continue Mm. and yes I'm going to select United USA for keyboard <clears throat> and then I'm gonna go ahead and connect to my Wi-Fi yeah that's pretty long <laughs> but it's good to have a long, longer password than smaller cuz it the, the more smaller you have the less uh, the more risk you have to get your um, <clears throat> network hacked so so now we have the option that we can transfer uh, from a Mac time machine or startup disk if you have backup things and we also can uh, transfer from a Windows PC so if you have like backup your files and all that and you have put it in a um, Windows computer or anything you can just plug that USB in and get those transfer from your PC to MacBook or if you like me who just wanted to don't transfer any information <clears throat> and just start like a new go ahead and click on continue <clears throat> so now we have enable location service which is um, like if you have iCloud account and some reason you forgot your macbook at uh, starbucks and if it's connected to the wi-fi you can always find your um, any apple devices on uh, find my iphone application or you can go to icloud.com so i'm going to click enable and continue so after then um most likely it will ask you for your um, ID and password so I will come back after uh, putting my ID and password in It's got a little bit fog but yeah there you go much better <laughs> so I just put it in my ID password and click continue after then uh, we get uh, that we have additional uh, security which is called use two factor authorizations if you want that you can click on that but I actually don't want to keep that so I don't want to upgrade my uh, security for right now if it's better I mean it's good for you if you do um, 
two steps verifications authorization because it's make your uh, account and uh, MacBook more safer so now um, they asked me if I want to put password or anything like that so if you want you can even put your nickname as a account name it will show up as a home folder so I'm just gonna put my nickname and I'm gonna put my password and then for a hint uh, look, I can just leave it blank I believe It's asking me would you like to set up iCloud Keychain? Um I would say yes or why not? And if you're doing for like second time or anything, you have to get it approved from another uh Apple device or you can just do a setup later. Or even you can use iCloud security code if you have set up any of any of them. So for me, I'm just gonna go ahead and select from approve from another device and it says it has been sent to one of my Apple device. So let me grab my phone. So in your phone, it would be, it will show something like this. It will show like um, allow uh, MacBook Pro to use iCloud and you have to just like unlock your iPhone and then put the password that you have for your iCloud account and click allow. Once you do that from your uh, iPhone, it will eventually, yeah, so eventually you will just uh, like you know track it and um, it will continue to the next step so now we have firewall disk encryptions I usually don't turn it on I keep it off let's go ahead. Uh, if you would like to um, store a file from document and desktop in iCloud you can do that if you have iCloud GB I mean if you are paying like 99 cents for 50 gigabyte or more you can do that but since I don't want to do that I'll just uncheck that and click continue and this is the most important part you always want to share Mac Atlantic uh, with Apple Atlantic with Apple and share crash data with app developers so um if there is an issue with your MacBook or anything, they get the report and eventually they will find out and fix it for you and they send a new update to your MacBook, which is pretty awesome about MacBook. Let's click continue. Um, I usually share iCloud and and only ticks. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just six so i couldn't able to even pronounce that but yeah i usually share those kind of things so it improve with their pro i will improve in a, like if there's any bug or anything apple will find out and they just they can fix it and yeah so now we also have the siri on this mac with the new uh, with this new software so I usually do use Siri like most of them time for example a reminder or putting alarm at night time click next and it's almost done so we just have to wait for it